Hi everyone, it's Ali. This time I'm going to show you how to make this really quick and easy little card with a watercolour background which is super easy to do and super quick. I've just got a piece of watercolour card there. It's not particularly expensive card, it's actually quite thin. It doesn't need to be expensive for this particular technique. And a piece of acetate there. And I'm going to use the Distress Ink watercolours Peacock Feathers, Abandoned Coral and Hickory Smoke to make the colour of my background. And this was for a colour challenge, an MFT colour challenge. So I'm just starting with a bit of the peacock feathers there and just spraying that with a little bit of water on my acetate. I had to refill my bottle because I'd run out of water. So um, just about three or four sprays on there. And then just tipping that upside down onto my paper. And I like to use the acetate in this way, upside down like that. So you can have a, you can see where you're putting the colour and you've Got a bit of control about where the colour's going. Just taking away a bit of excess colour there with my paper towel and heat setting with my heat gun. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of that abandoned coral. Again just spraying with water and pushing it on lightly where you'd like that colour to be. And it prevents it from getting too muddy as well if you can sort of place the colour and then heat, set that with my heat tool. And I just thought I'd like a little bit more pink in that coral, I'd like it to be a little bit more pinky, so I just grabbed some worn lipstick and I've just put a little bit of that on top of the, the abandoned coral just to get that little bit more pink tone into it. And heat set again. And then going in with hickory smoke, a little bit of grey, not too much. I didn't want it to overpower the other colours. And then I just wanted to add a little bit more darkness to that grey, so I just put a little bit more on there. If you want it darker, you just spray less water on it and it comes up quite a dark um, colour. And just heat set with my heat tool. And that's it for the background really. It's really quite quick and easy. Um, yeah, the card itself, making these backgrounds, it just makes it so easy. This is the Happy Birthday Circle Frame from My Favourite Things and a little bit of sparkle, sort of shimmer, silver card there. And I'm just popping that out and then I'm just poking out the little leftover pieces with my Spellbinders tool in one. It's quite a handy tool. There's a few on the market similar to this one, but they're really quite handy. Now I'm going to do my hippos. And I've used the Happy Hippo stamp set and dies from My Favourite Things. And this is my Mini Misty. And I use my dies as a bit of a template to place my hippos so that I can keep all my dies together and then run it through the big shot and it cuts it out. It's all in the right place, a bit like a puzzle piece really, it places them all in the right place. And then my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink because I'm going to Copic colour them and I need the ink to be um, able to handle the alcohol markers. And then I've just got my standard greys, I don't have many Copics so these are the standard greys that I use for a lot of my hippos and elephants and such. And I'm going in with my lightest um, colour first which is the C3 and then I'm going in with the dark colour to put in all of the shadows, the C7. And I just look at the hippo and I imagine, say, the light coming from the left and then where the shadows would fall on him. And I just put a little bit of the C7 in where I think the darkest shadows would be. And then I'm going in with the C5, which is the middle colour, and just merging sort of that dark colour inwards towards the lighter. And I just use as a little brush feathering motion pulling in usually with this middle colour. I just get that blended to a certain point. And then I go back in with my C3 and then I try and blend the lines between that. I've just slowed down this motion a little bit to normal and I'm showing you how I've started to use like a little circular motion over those two darkest colours and I just use a little round circular motion to try and blend that colour edge back in and I find this has been working really well to give a nice blend just circles, small circles and just moving that colour until it soaks into the paper 
and I usually move around the image a little bit because you need to let it soak and dry a little bit and it tends to change slightly as well so I just move around the image slowly and come back to um, other sections later. Now back to double speed now just to go through that colouring a bit more and then I'm just finishing off going over the whole image with that lightest colour. And then I just do the same thing with the small hippo, exactly the same technique. I mean, obviously you're welcome to fast forward through this part, but I did include it just in case you wanted to see how I did colour the small hippo. The shadows are going to fall. He's going to be facing the big hippo, so the light is going to be falling on his back. So a lot of the front of him was going to be in shadow. Um, so I just wanted to include that in case you did want to colour him in a similar way. And it's the exact same technique. I go full over with the light colour, in with the darker shadow, in with the mid colour, and then back over with the lightest colour again. And that's generally the technique I use for all of my Copic colouring, really, along with that circle motion that I've started to use to try and blend, um, blend the shadows back into the lighter colour. And then I'm just going to do the present and the cake and I used the BG13 and YR12 which is an orange. I don't really have a coral colour in the Copic so I thought I would have to sort of use orange and pink together and a little bit of yellow. <laughs> so that's what I did. I'd really just experimented and went back and forward with the colours until I got the shade that I liked and you can do that with your alcohol markers. I added a bit of yellow there because I thought I didn't need a bit of yellow but then I thought oh it's now I need a bit more pink, so I just kept adding until I reached a point where I liked the colour and I thought it matched the Distress Ink colours quite well. And that's it for the colouring, so fairly quick and easy. Now you can see how the dyes fit perfectly over those two images because I lined them up with my Mini Misty earlier. And I run that through my Big Shot, cut them out. And now I'm just going to do all the gluing. I covered the whole back of this um, piece of watercolour paper with adhesive so that it's stuck down nicely. And then I'm going to adhere on my uh, birthday die with my multimedia matte glue. And that's a precision tip that I bought separately to go on the glue. Just adhere that on there. And now just to adhere the two hippos on, I'm just going to pop them up with a little bit of 3D foam. I've just got some circle 3D foams there, just from sort of a local um, craft supply store. And just attach those onto the front. And that's pretty much it for the card. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate all the lovely comments and things that people have been leaving. And I hope you enjoy watching and I'll be back soon with another card.